Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about time division multiplexing. On completion of this course, the learners can able to understand about multiplexing and uh, time division multiplexing, also the application of time division multiplexing. Initially we will know about what is the concept of multiplexing. Multiplexing is nothing but giving different uh, more than uh, one signal through a single medium uh, and it can be obtained at the receiver side. In the receiver side it, it will be separated. The, that is, this is the concept of multiplexing that is simply we can tell us the signals from different channels are transmitted over a common transmission line. The time spacing between the samples of one channel is occupied by the another channels. This is the basic concept of multiplexing. It is to improve the utilization of the channel. The main use of time division multiplexing is used to improve the utilization of the channel. This TDM time division multiplexing can also be called as TDM. So, we have analog TDM uh, in this diagram center 1, center 2, etc. up to center n are there more, uh, more than one center should be there at the input side and it will uh, this all centers will share a single medium that is uh, in between the multiplexer and demultiplexer at the demultiplexer side the center 1 information will be received by receiver 1 and center 2 will be received by receiver 2 and etc. up to center n will be received by receiver n. The concept multiplexing, this is a technique by which multiple data signals can be transmitted over a common channel in different time slots. This is called as time division multiplexing. It also allows the division of a uh, division of overall time uh, overall time into different time slots. So, in analog time division multiplexing, here uh, different time slots are there x1 of uh, different let, let the signals be x1 of t x2 of t x3 of t etc of t n number of signals are there xn of t so this will share a single channel so in time division multiplexing the complete signal gets transmitted by occupying different time slots so this is the uh, main principle used in time division multiplexing uh, so here uh, multiplexing is otherwise called as mux that is the method by which multiple analog signals are combined into one uh, single channel. So, here it uses a low pass filter each channel should be transmitted and is passed through a low pass filter. The outputs of the low pass filter are connected to the rotating sampling switch and this switch will be rotating and each and every time the channel which is used to be shared is uh, selected by this switch. So, simply uh, this uh, multiplexing TDM is uh, classified as different uh, types. So, this is basically from the uh, topic uh, multiplexing. So, first is uh, space division, second one is frequency division, third is time division and fourth one is core division. So, uh, time division multiplexing is the method, method of transmitting and receiving independent signals over a common uh, signal path by means of synchronized switches. So, the switches uh, will be rotating so that it is called as rotating switch. So, this method transmits uh, different uh, uh, signals in with different time slots through a single media. So, here time division multiplexing is needed. So, to reduce the bandwidth so that uh, the because this signal occupies different signals occupies a single channel. So, transmitting one or more signals simultaneously can be accomplished by TDM process. So, a single cable or radio link can be enough to handle this multiplexing. So, this multiplexing permits hundreds or even thousands of signals can be combined through a single channel or single medium so that the cost can be saved. Uh, so, here the uh, multiple input signals it is given as the multiplexer so after multiplexing all the different n number of inputs will be converted or it is uh, sent through a single line the demultiplexer will receive all the combined inputs in a single line and it will separate this into original signals so multiplexer or mux combines all inputs into a single signal and demultiplexer or demux 
that, that process the input signal by sorting diff, uh, uh, this uh, received signal into different uh, ways. So, the slot diagram will be like this. Let us consider 4 inputs at the input side. This 4 inputs will be divided into different time slots A, B, C, D. Again, it will be repeated A, B, C, D and uh, each uh, transmitter will transmit the signal and it should wait till the till its next turn. So, uh, once A is received and it should wait for B, C, D to, uh, to choose a respective slots. After D choose uh, D has chosen its respective slot again the A will get its turn. Similarly, all the uh, input signals will use the whole channel into different uh, separate slots and receiver side D multiplexer it will receive the uh, signals that is composite signals and it will separate that composite signal into the particular given input signal. So, here as we said time division multiplexing it is different uh, it will be uh, yes, uh, method that is used for uh, saving the bandwidth so that it will uh, the system uh, cost will be reduced. So, as we said the low pass filter and uh, the switch pulse modulator then through this communication channel pulse demodulator and this using again the low pass filter the input uh, signal which is sent through the multiplexer will be received by the demultiplexer and separated as the uh, receiver side. This is the simple block diagram of the uh, multiplexers uh, time division multiplexing. Uh, mainly it is used in system low pass filters the, that is uh, basically anti-aliasing filters are used here to separate the signals. So, time division multiplexing uses pulse amplitude modulation techniques. So, here uh, at the beginning the system consists of multiple low pass filter depending on the number of data inputs. So, basic concept of uh, multiplexer is uh, using uh, n number of signals by using the switch which is called as commutator. This commutator rotates and it will choose the signal which is selected by the various time slots. Here the time slots that is uh, uh, related with the switch selection. So, according to the commutator's uh, rotation these time slots will be uh, chosen. So, here the maximum frequency is FM and uh, here for sampling FS should be always greater than or uh, equal to 2 FM and time is TS is equal to 1 by FS. So, TS is less than or equal to 1 by 2 FM. This is the basic concept used in time division multiplexing and the pulse frequency will be 1 by TS that is uh, N FS. So, uh, implementation of uh, TDM it will be uh, in two types that is synchronous TDM and another one is asynchronous TDM. So, here R is nothing but the rate sample signaling rate that R is equal to N into FS. Here N is number of slots used and here uh, simple uh, basic block diagram as we discussed earlier this uh, time division multiplexing uh, here frames uh, different frames will be slotted if uh, here the synchronous TDM and asynchronous TDM two types are there in synchronous TDM the frames are chosen in a synchronous manner or, or it, uh, the order will be repeatedly same order but in as asynchronous order it cannot be predicted. So, here uh, the signaling rate R should be greater than or equal to uh, N into FM and uh, TS is less than or equal to 1 by 2 FM. So, time division multiplexing the bandwidth is calculated by 1 by 2 into N FS. So, the bandwidth can be saved and uh, this uh, signal can be traveled in a single channel. So, advantage uh, while talking about the advantage it is very simple and it, uh, less bandwidth is used and uh, dis drawback or disadvantages. Uh, here the synchronization is needed transmitting and receiving section must be properly synchronized to transmit the rece and receive the signals in a proper manner. So, uh, slow narrow band padding can be uh, wipe out all the TDM channels that is the main drawback of the TDM and the application is TDM uh, that is mainly used in digital communication system or cellular radio or in satellite communication system that is the main uh, advantage of TDM. 
so here we have one quiz question that is uh, which are non orthogonal multiplexing we know that another one uh, multiplexing method that is uh, uh, frequency division multiplexing same as time division multiplexing frequency division multiplexing is also orthogonal multiplexing so uh, tdm and fdm fdm both are orthogonal multiplexing so c is the correct answer uh, that's all about time division uh, multiplexing thank you